In the Bible, Jesus tells his followers, quote, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. It's unclear if Jesus had in mind what the Lavelle family of Washington state is now up to. You're about to meet parents who are sending their 10 children out into the streets to preach a fiery brand of gospel to complete strangers. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski for our series, Faith Matters. It's a Thursday in Spokane, Washington, and a big night out for the Lavelle family. Homework's done, dinner is eaten, and they're piling into the family minivan on a regular outing. Are you a little bit nervous, Susanna? Uh, a little bit. Not bowling or a movie, but to do this. If you do not turn from your sins, you will die. It's that simple. You either turn or you burn. 15-year-old Jonah Lavelle is part of a controversial group that calls itself the Spokane Street Preachers. If you do not repent, you will be cast into the lake of fire and you will burn there forever. Jonah is already a fierce preacher and it's easy to see why. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. But the world so hated God that it sinned against him. That's his father, David Lavelle, one of the founders of the group that doesn't just include his wife, Christina and Jonah, but 10 kids being raised to join him in these sermons that often make people very angry. Some of the people we've spoken to, and a lot of them when they see your kids say that it's okay for adults, but the kids shouldn't be put in a position like this. They'll take their kids all over the place. Movie theaters that are ungodly, they'll take them to uh, hockey games where they have all kinds of violence. Women I mean, never think about what they're exposing them to. Nightline recently spent 48 hours with the Lavelles. We are the Lavelle family. You might interview me because I'm the one that's supposed to be the new preacher. Susanna Lavelle is only 11, and tonight she's getting ready to undergo this unusual rite of passage. What do you expect from people when you're out there on the street? A lot of people get really mad. And they claim that you're shoving their re your re religion down their throat. And the Lavelles have long had their children accompany them on these street missions. Ah, the preachers are going to come down here and ruin everything. Their fundamental belief that churches today preach a candy-coated, watered-down message designed to skirt some sins in order to appeal to a broad audience. This is what you call love speech. We're telling the truth here. We, we love you. Depending on where you stand, their version is either tough love or annoying and inappropriate. Friday, we catch up with them outside one of their favorite targets, the Spokane Islamic Center. Allah didn't give his life for you. Allah doesn't give you power to be holy. What does Allah give you? Nothing. They have a belief that's different than yours, right. and, you know, and you're shouting that theirs is false. Is false, right. You know, and it's probably pretty difficult stuff for them to just, you know, they're trying to go in to pray and they have that being shouted at them. We are speaking the things so that they'll be woken up. What is hateful about telling somebody the truth? We're interrupted by a county sheriff who stops them from using that megaphone, one so powerful it was designed to be heard across the noisy deck of an aircraft carrier. Who's running that thing? You are. Even that gets a little too loud too. Would you be okay with them preaching their beliefs on the public sidewalk outside of your house? I would just look at it as an opportunity to really talk to, talk to these people. In fact, I might welcome it. When they're not out preaching, the Lavelle family lives a quiet life. No television, homeschooling, all of them in it together. This one is Tommy. He's named after his father. The day's rituals are a seamless patchwork of school. So if this equals 16. And Bible study. See, this is Proverbs chapter 2. So listen, because I'm going to ask you some questions out of what we read. What do you say to those who, who look at what you do and say, okay, you're an adult, fine, do as you please. Mm -hmm. These kids, they don't really have a choice. They're not old enough to know they're homeschooled. They don't have, you know, access to outside thinking. Well, they have access to all outside thinking in that they understand um, when we go out into the world they're going to encounter all those things. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, 
Son Jonah has been preaching since he was 13. Is it scary out there? Preaching yeah, on the street? Sometimes. The people who reject you when you're out there, and there's a lot of them, I guess. What do you think of those people? I think it's because they they hate God and they hate God's people, so they curse at us and call us all sorts of names. Because the kids are homeschooled, field trips can sometimes end up like this, at Planned Parenthood, where they protested Friday morning, as they all do every month. We minister as a whole family here because every one of these children is a testimony to life. Jesus Christ will come back and judge all of us. Clearly, they have a right to express their opinions on abortion, but their critics wonder if it's right to expose young kids to all this. She has a sign about Hitler. He has a sign with, you know, bloody fetuses. I mean, it's pretty rough stuff it is. for little kids. Should they really be here amidst all that? You know what? This is the reality. This is the ugliness of abortion. Some of Spokane's religious leaders worry that what the Lavelles are doing isn't just free speech, it's dangerous. I feel for the children who are with them, they are shouting, if you will, a message that's cruel and hateful and um, that drives people away from Christianity. Pastor Andy Casterling's church is often targeted because they welcome members of the gay and lesbian community. In this video posted on YouTube, they confront a member of the congregation. This church out here goes out in the public and supports homosexuality on the streets. Do you think maybe given the fact that so many people either think you're crackpots or are just angry and yelling at you, that maybe there's a better way for you to spread your word? If there was a better way, I would certainly use that way. But unless that sinner repents, he will not receive God's forgiveness. And now 11-year-old Susanna is finally ready for her preaching debut. Are you nervous about going out to the streets? Um, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, but I'm pretty brave. You are. Though none go with me. Her battleground, the sidewalk just outside the college basketball tournament, right alongside ticket scalpers. This is a Actually, moment of heart-swelling pride to the Lavelles. Rude. When Susanna begins, it's like someone just pressed play on a message she's practiced her entire life. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. You must repent! Turn from your sin! You must turn from everything! Drinking, pot smoking, everything! You must turn from your sin! Her message doesn't seem to register with the fans, but sends waves of joy through her parents. All right. Now, heaven's rejoicing. Heaven's rejoicing over you, sweetie. So how did you um, feel as a mother watching your daughter out here tonight? Oh, I thought it was fabulous. Wonderful. You brought tears to my eyes. God is powerful. You must repent and believe in him. Whatever you think of the message, these messengers will be here, young and old, and filled with the confidence that people shouldn't be angry with them. They should be thanking them. No turning back. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Spokane, Washington.